guys, welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It's the only way you can support this channel. And do not forget to click the bell icon. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. And you'll get the notification as soon as I upload something. Remember, we are still talking about the UAE. When we talk about the UAE, we are super excited. We are super excited because of the new UAE labor law that came into effect yesterday, February 2nd. But remember, when we are talking about this, we talk about the new amendments that we are being made in the labor law. The new amendments are not only going to benefit the employees, but also the employers at one way or the other, because they are the owners of the companies and they also need to, to protect the interests of the company and meet up the company goals. So it is a 50 by 50 win in one way or the other. That's what we talk about. We talk about the gratitude law, the amendments. We talk about the leave pay that we are all enacted and that we are all put in place, which is super, super good and which is super good for all people that are planning to go to the UAE. Remember, when we are talking about the UAE, we are not only talking about a one emirate. We are only talk, we're not talking about only talking about Dubai. We are even talking about the other seven emirates like Abu Dhabi, Sharija, and Ajman. What are we talking about today? We are going to talk about something that is different. And we are going to talk about some of these important laws. Article laws that you should know. It may not be of interest right now, but you need to know them. Because under this new law, they are going to, be, they are going to come one of the benefits or they are going to come as part of your guidance to whatever you are going to do. For example, if you need to claim for your gratitude, if you need to resign before the, the, the agreed period of time, if you need to go of you, if you need to go and lodge a complaint against your employer, where are you going to start from? What article are you going to use? What is going to be your referral base? If you are going to launch that claim in any uh, in any office that you you you'll have to go or where you have to take your claim and this is exactly that we want to talk about we are going to talk about what you call the articles some of the articles of the labor law and in today's video we are going to talk about what you call the federal law article number eight of 1980 what does the article say article number six of law number eight what does it say? Remember, this was enacted. It was enacted in 1980. And what does it say? It says that. It says that. Whenever you are going to launch a complaint against your employer. Whenever you are going to launch a complaint against your employer. It should be launched or it should be taken to that relevant office. It should be taken to that relevant office, I quote. And it's only that office that it is going to settle that dispute or that disagreement between the employee and the employer, not any other office. So what does it mean? It means that if you skip that, res that responsible office to settle that claim, they will not work on you. That is what the federal Article 6 of law number 8 of 1980 in UAE says about that. What does it mean still? That all beneficiaries, all beneficiaries who claim concerning any rights that are included or rights that are written out in the UAE labor law should strictly go to that responsible office 
that is going to settle up the claim or is going to settle up the dispute between you and in between you the employer and the employee in case anything fails out of there and maybe your employer is not willing to change in any way or the other that is when you can come in to either terminate your contract yourself or to resign without giving a notice so remember before you take any further step you should know that that law talks about you first reporting to that responsible office to handle that disagreement or that claim in case your employer is violating or bleaching what you call the the terms of the contract is getting against what you agreed in the contract you don't need to go to off you don't need to go to police you need to first go to that responsible offices there are responsible offices to handle such kind of issues and then after if there's 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 anywhere where the, the the employer may fail to change or even anyone may change it then probably you can take a further step as according to the guidance of the the ministry that is responsible hope that is very clear and that, that is very good so article 6 of labor law 8 that was drafted in 1980 it says Article 6 of the Federal Law, number 8, of 1890, in the UAE, states that if the employer or the worker or any beneficiary files a claim concerning any of the rights mentioned in the law, they are required to apply their concern, their concern to the Labor Department, that is, fully given the authority and the power to handle that however the department will take the necessary measures to seek solution or to take solutions between the two of you let's say the employer and the company but if in case any of if any there is any failure between the two then they can give the necessary the necessary steps or further uh, recommendations somewhere Hope I've tried to share up something. So, for someone who asked about Article 6 of Labor Law 8 of 1980 in the UAE, that is what it says. Hope I've tried to share up something with you. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Don't forget, please support this channel. We are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to see another article important article in the labor law that you need to be aware of that you need to know see you again in the next video smex from the mix creation tv